American Holocaust. Meanwhile, there was California to the west, the last stop before the Holocaust that had begun upon Hispaniola in 1492 would move out across the Pacific in the wake of 18th century voyages to Australia, Polynesia, and beyond by Captains Cook, Wallace, Belgain, Ville, and others. Spanish troops had entered California, overlaid overland earlier in the 16th century. While Cortez and Pizarro were still alive and basking in the glory of their conquest of the Aztecs and the Incas, indeed, Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, who heard stories of Spanish troops and violence in California while he was sailing off the coast in 1542, probably had been with Cortez at the fall of Tenochtitlan and with the infamous Alvarado further south. In any case, wherever there was Spanish violence, there was bound to be disease. In raping native women and merely breathing on native men, <laughs> the marching Spanish soldiers spread syphilis and gonorrhea, smallpox, and influenza everywhere they went. Oh, no, you think it's play play? Everywhere they went, they spread the virus. And now they flip flop. They've completely indoctrinated us to trust them, to think that. This so-called uh, tenderoni, you know what I'm saying? That that's supposed to be something we need to prevent ourselves from. They beef up the numbers, they pump it out in the news. We bite it, we believe that there's a physical airborne virus that's killing all these motherfuckers. We rush to them because they have the magic shot. They have the cure. And in that shot, in that needle, what are they putting into you? You can't even sue these people. You have no idea what some mastermind dreamt up as a magic serum that we would voluntarily get and will be shunned if we don't. Sorcery at its finest. Just to come and wake up and find out and they've been doing this the whole damn time, spreading disease on purpose, my nigga. All they had to do was breathe on you. This is a virus itself. They are a virus if all they have to do is breathe on us, my nigga. If all they have to do is breathe on us, that is the virus. And so when Hawa is saying, and as we read Judges chapter 1, Oh, uh, Ephraim didn't clear out, you know, all the, uh, you know, Canaanites and these, these, uh, you know, all these lands. Uh, Neptali still left dwellers here and left dwellers here. But while I was trying to spread it out <laughs> so that you won't, you know, catch none of this tenderoni, man. But while I was trying to. Get anything off your land that's going to interfere with your spiral. And it wasn't just a physical, uh, you know, disease, my naga. You're talking about spiritual warfare, man. It's spiritual, man. Don't don't lose track. Don't think I'm just talking physical disease. I'm talking spiritual tenderoni, man. This tenderoni thing is spiritual. It's, it's more than physical. 
Man, they can play with the numbers, inflate the numbers, act like there's a super high peak of this and peak of that. They can misdiagnose every case now as that. You don't even hear about no one having the flu no more because it's all labeled that now. Right? Everything is that now. Why? 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 It's a spiritual war. Silent weapons, quiet war. This tenderone is a spiritual. But they don't know that it's really, um, I think the last spark a Naga is going to have to witness before really making a decision as to who you are, as to who you're going to be from this point on. Yeah. You know, it could put many people further in sleep into that Ruach Tardy Ma or it's going to wake you up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. It's like, that's what a spiritual war does in the first place. That's why Hawaii allows a certain amount of spiritual warfare, man. Because either you're going to choose up or down. And when you choose up, all that's going to happen is that spiritual war is going to sharpen you up and crystallize you just like a diamond shining, you know, coming out of all that static and friction all that time to form a complete diamond. I, I mean, I'm talking wow. about, you know what I'm saying, emerald scepters, you know what I'm saying? But when you're choosing down and you ain't trusting Hawaii, you ain't trusting the cold, you ain't KTC, you are spiraling further down, man. Right now, you seem like you zooming past other noggins, right? Like, you zooming past them in the frequency, man, because you KTC. You can't front on that, man. You KTC, you ain't you're making a choice. Right now, who you going to be? So while they're having a spiritual war and some are choosing down and getting dumb, dumber, you know, dumbed down, like the bro Johanathan was just breaking down love to the bro for an incredible show man my ticket five eyes my man popping off with supreme vibe you know Seth you know always man with the sharp sword man you know what I'm saying you know right to the gut bone of hijack city allow why man to cool say popping off with the remedy man to cool say got the remedy you gotta make sure you uh plugged in man so you got that remedy for tech and all the great vibes man all Always a great song selection, man. I mean, hey, shout out to the Ether Squid Eye. You just feel so good, don't you agree, man? You know, Natural by Law, Templar, man. Aqua Tide, CJ. It feels so good. Come fresh, what he do, man? Brother Nature, Lego. Feels so good, man. We're talking Ether Squid Eye. DJ Noski. Shout out to DJ Noski. This is what we're building over here, man. So we can wake up out that Ruach Tarde Mah. Because we know it's a spiritual war. But you see how the poison and the vaccines, right? The, the disease has been a key element in the spiritual war. And the physical war. The disease works in duality. You know what I'm saying? To keep us in a lower vibration, we feel sick. By breathing, we feel sick. It's a spiritual world. We feel sick. Now we got a, you know, low drain vibration because of the fear and anxiety. That takes energy to worry all the damn time. It takes energy to be afraid all the damn time. It takes a lot of energy out of a body. So, uh, you know, it's a spiritual war. It's tender room. Got to knock his trip. Oh, uh, everyone's nervous about this new normal. Because, you know, we can all see this ain't going to be never nothing when we thought we were cozy. In. We, it's not going to be able to go back 10 years, you know, <laughs> or five years. You know, this, this is a recent crossover like a mug. You know, it's, it's what we all needed or else it wouldn't be happening. Right? The oppressor has to tighten the ropes on the slave. Yank your neck back a little bit and let you know, man, these are privileges, man. I, you have no rights. I just I just gave you privileges. 
But now, because of a health crisis, I could take away your privileges. Because of any emergency, I could take away your privileges. Who says if it's an emergency? I do. I do. So at any time I say emergency, I take away your privileges. Hey, ball game, man. Body bag for the illusion. We have rights when we KTC. We keep the code. We have rights when we KTC. We have an inheritance, con. Hey, welcome to the promised land, man. <laughs> Ain't no paperwork for this. It's all about vibration, my noggin. You wanna vibe high, you KTC, M-H-O-E, you know what I'm saying? Tribal Mafia, let's go. I'm in American Holocaust, David E. Stannard, page 134. Pull up the full PDF. Love to carry mayo, drop the full PDF. Full PDF, uh, pull it up in the uh, drop library. Password is still one, two, three, four, y'all. Hey, <laughs> it's gonna change any minute. <laughs> I'll go tie like, man, that thing ain't never gonna change. <laughs> Hey, man, the password is one, two, three, four. Man, y'all got to dig on it, man. Let's go. Hawa. La wa. In any case, wherever there was Spanish violence. Hey, what does a Spaniard look like? Quick, quick. Oh, swarthy Spaniards, right? More and more war. Con. Chicamago. Chicamago. At any time there was Spaniard, Spanish violence. Breathing on native men. Hold up. Spanish violence, there was bound to be disease. <laughs> Let me get this right. At any time, wherever there was Spanish Violence there was bound to be disease. So for them, they have to be violent towards somebody that they want to keep in captivity by force. And you don't know it's by force until you wake your ass up and you start asking about inheritance and you you know see things like health crisis start popping up. Stay at home orders. Try to limit your traveling everything right then you know it's a privilege to travel it ain't your right anytime you need to show paperwork to travel you in captivity man you in captivity man we're talking privileges Privilege can be snatched away, you know, for any reason at all. So for them, they have to stay violent on us in some type of way, psychological violence, physical violence. We see it all, right? The Naga see all this violence. But what comes with that violence? Any case, wherever the Spanish violence was bound to be disease, wherever there was violence, there was Disease, violence, disease, violence, di disease, my naga So You ain't gonna have violence without the disease when it comes to the hijack. Can't you see the playbook? Violence, disease, violence, disease. Hands up, don't shoot. Put your mask on. I can't breathe. Put your mask on. Disease, I can't breathe. You're choking me out. Violence. Put your mask on, but I can't breathe. Disease, violence, disease. In any case, wherever there was violence, there was bound to be disease. In raping our, our queens and merely breathing on any naga, the marching 
Spanish soldiers spread syphilis, gonorrhea, smallpox, and influenza wherever they went. And Cabrillo was not likely innocent himself. His crews were mostly conscripts, the dregs of the Spanish settlements in Mexico. There can be no little or be little doubt that diseases festered in those men and that became explosive epidemics that spread among the natives. Violence, disease. That's their playbook. That's their play. And then, right, when you get used to the whole disease, they're going to come with more violence. Police shooting, police shooting, da-da-da-da-da, right? Wow. Get Nagas all charged up again on some racial kick, white versus black day. You know what I'm saying? You're not looking at the more and more war no more. You ain't even looking at the board. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who's the real pawns, man? Who got the real power, man? What's happening behind the scenes? What does it look like? You'll be amazed. You will be amazed. Violence, disease. Wow. 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 There can be little doubt that diseases festered in those men that became explosive epidemics when spread among the natives. It was thought that syphilis did not arrive in California until Don Juan Batista de Anza's ANZA introduction of the putrid and contagious plague in 1777. So even they say uh, Christopher Columbus, he, they, their official stories that Columbus brought it from America <laughs> to Spain. <laughs> not from Spain to America. They're saying that Columbus caught syphilis somehow in the Americas and then brought it to Spain where they were already plagued with every disease. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, we got to tie back into them dog heads, them sinus of phalluses, and them St. Christopher's, them dog-headed St. Christopher's to see what this uh, sinus of phallus syphilis correlation back into the balsam and the guaiacum Con, con, let's go. But this ain't it arrived in California. It was thought it arrived in California uh, when Don Juan Batista de Anza's introduction of the putrid and contagious plague in 1777. But there's no longer any doubt that the, that the disease was present throughout the region well before Anza's visit. As for smallpox, influenza, and other lethal infections, they spread early and they spread far. Martin de Aguilar explored the northern California and Oregon coast for Spain in 1603, follow, following by 24 years Sir Francis Drake, who had sailed up the Pacific coast and landed with his crews on the Oregon shore in 1579. And Drake may not have been the first European to venture that far north, but whoever was the first among the 16th century adventurers, 18th century explorers found old smallpox scars on the bodies of the native people there. In 1602 and 1603, Sebastian Vinsciano led an expedition of three ships up and down California's coast with Frequent stops on shore where his men spent time with various Indian peoples. There was sickness on Viscano's ships from the moment they set sail. And before the voyage was complete, it combined with scurvy to literally shut the voyage down. Scores of men were incapacitated. At one point, Viscano wrote, quote, All the men had fallen sick so that there were only two sailors who could climb to the main, main topsail. The ship that he 
was on, Viscano later added, seemed more like a hospital than a ship of an armada. Fray Antonio de la Ascension, one of the three clergymen who made the voyage with Viscano, feared the whole crew was close to death. Now this is the condition that they're in when they arrive on our uh, pristine crystal shores, my not. And they today want to, these same jabronis today, want to shoot us globally, put a global push to put a needle in every naga on the earth plant. And they said some will resist. Some of them ain't going, you know, go for it. Some of them are waking up, but we need to put this needle in all the nagas that sleep right now. And they still have plenty of nagas in that Ruach Tarde Ma. And they've been hitting up naga after naga. And like my bro, Yohanneton, keep pressing on. This is the war that we're losing. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the L's that we're taking, every single naga that's getting hit with this thing over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm just praying, man, that Hawaii, you know, got a way to counter this stuff, man, with some <laughs> magic, uh, you know, magic ether, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it feel like L's every single time I hear, you know, just like you're honored to that a family member, somebody we know got hit up, even with the testing, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, still you gotta, you know, talk to Hawaii, you know what I mean? Make sure that they, you know, they know, uh, you know, bullshit going on, you know what I'm saying? That's all you can really say, you know? And there ain't no bullshit happening, you know, unnecessarily in our bodies, other than all the other metals and bullshit that's already in our bodies. We just pray that more bullshit it's not in our bodies, man. I mean, it's no other way to say it, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a frequency war for real, for real. And, and we getting sprayed, but we ain't supposed to say nothing. If you say something about you getting sprayed, then they already got a label for you. You know, oh, man, you crazy. You forgot what a clear sky looked like. More metals and everything else. More necromancy. Wow. They've been spraying us for how long, man? You don't think there's a master plan? At least 50, 60, 70 years old? Some plan that they working out? That they pushing for? So we KTC. Because I don't think Hawaii wants us to bear the burden of keeping the code in terms of resisting everything. You know, all of these so-called, you know, hijacks and these temptations to be out of code. I don't think Hawaii wants us to have to fight that fight and have to figure their, their stuff out at the same time. Even though that's what we're doing, you know what I'm saying? All praise of why. It's, it's happening, you know, uh, it's happening in synchronicity, you know, it's like a perfect, uh, you know, a perfect dance, man, a perfect tango. But, you know, for for the entire nation, you know what I'm saying, KTC, that's our fight. Our fight is KTC. Our fight is getting back in cult. Our fight is getting our families in cult. You know what I'm saying? And obviously we take our natural, you know, steps to prepare, you know, getting our land, you know what I'm saying, getting our shelter, getting our flow, you know. You know what I mean? These are just natural steps of preparation, but, you know, overall, you have a very powerful, clear-minded, you know. Uh, you have a creator that you give a little, will give a lot back to. You know, if you take a step, will take a thousand steps towards you. You have a creator that never stop, you know, having all focus on you. So just know that when your creator see you taking them baby steps and hobbling back, Back to the greater light Everything else is taken care of man All you gotta do is stand up Chest out, chin up my nigga Chest out, chin up my nigga Let's get a little bit more We're in American Holocaust 
in a section called Pestilence and Genocide. Man. That's all we're reading about. So there was already all this sickness on their boats when they arrived. Fray Antonio de la Ascension, one of three clergymen who made the voice with with Visciano, feared the whole crew was close to death. But unfortunately for the Spanish and unfortunately for the natives, the Indians helped the crippled sailors. Man, again, we came to their <laughs> we came to their help, man, you know, offering them fish, game. Uh, hazelnuts, chestnuts, acorn, man. We just gave him everything, man. <laughs> For though, but six of our men remained in the said frigade, the rest having died of cold and sickness, the Indians were so friendly and so desirous of our friendship that they not only did them no harm, but showed them all the kindness possible. There could be no doubt that for their kindness, the Indians were repaid by more plagues Plagues the likeness of which nothing in their history had prepared them. Didn't, didn't Hawa say that these plagues are going to be such that your ancestors never even heard of these particular plagues? These diseases are on some other stuff. Whatever's in that tenderoni shot is on some other level, my nut. Nano, I mean, everything else, right? So, computers, my nut, you know? <laughs> programmable liquid man let's go there could be no doubt that for their kindness these nagas were repaid by plagues the likes of which nothing in their history had prepared them the earliest European mariners and explorers in California, as noted in the previous chapters, discussion of Cabrillo repeatedly referred to the great numbers of Indians living there in places where Viscano's ships could approach the coast or his men could go ashore. The captain recorded again and again that the land was thickly filled with people. Managa, he's in Cali, and everywhere he's going, the land is thickly filled with people. Thickly filled. Imagine how many Nagas was here, man. I mean, Hawaii said you're going to wake up and weep, man, by the time you really comprehend the fullness, man, of, of the disaster. Of the interference pattern that was allowed by us, my night. Hawaii said clear them off the land. We refuse to clear them off the land. <laughs> oh, I say KTC, man. A lot of us refuse KTC. We had safety. We we refuse our own security, our own why, our own high, our own breath. So now I can't breathe. Mask on. Mask on. Disease. I can't breathe. Violence. Mask on. Disease. I can't breathe. That's their playbook. That's their cycle. They came at us with physical violence, spiritual violence with their mission, missionaries, bringing us their JC, bringing us a new God. Now we have Christians on every corner. To this day, they brought us a new God. A son of God. They brought us all this stuff. We, we were KTC. We connected directly with Hawa, our secure breath. Now we got no secure breath. We have no security in our neighborhoods. We have no breath, man. No assurance of life. We used to walk around secure, Managa. Thickly secure. Everywhere they went, they saw a Naga. Secure. Secure of life. Now you don't know what's going to happen when you get in your car, man. Everyone's hunting, 
Everyone's hunting in Naga, right? And I know everybody want to be a Naga now, but you don't want to be a Naga when you're getting hunted on like this. You got more security within, you know, you, whoever, you know, than a Naga ever would understand. While you trying to be a Naga, you don't understand the lack of security a Naga got when we're not KTC. In KTC, we're starting to feel that again. We're starting to spark off. We're starting to feel secure again. A lot of why. But they're walking around Cali, California. Kalelu. The land was thickly filled with people. Everywhere he recorded again and again, the land was thickly filled with people. And where he couldn't approach or go ashore because the coast was wild, the Indian signaled greetings by building fires. Fires that, quote, made so many columns of smoke on the mainland that at night it looked like a procession. And in the daytime, the sky was overcast. In some, as Father Ascension put it, quote, the realm of California, the realm of of California, my Naga. You're in another realm. How many times these people got to tell you? They burst through another realm. <laughs> they entered another realm. You're in another, you're in another heaven, right? Because even though there's war in heaven, right? Even though we had war in our heaven, it wasn't quite like the war, you know what I'm saying, that came upon us when they broke the partition. Columbus broke the partition. And found this heaven, right? <laughs> and we let it in, right? They came into the realm of California. Father Ascension says this realm of California is very large and embraces much territory, nearly all inhabited by numberless people. Now you could walk around and not, you know, you could see a Naga there and a Naga there, but before it was numberless, man. It was thickly populated. We're scattered around, you know what I'm saying now, but it, everywhere, everywhere they went. Southern California, Central California, Northern California, thickly populated. Oregon, same thing. Washington, same thing. Utah, same thing. Arizona, same thing. Wyoming, same thing. Delaware, same thing. Nebraska, same thing. Missouri, Mississippi, Texas. Man, you already know it. Alabama, Louisiana, same thing. Florida, man. Michigan, New York City, Colorado, same thing. Thickly populated. They were numberless people, but not for very long. Throughout the late 16th and 17th and 18th centuries, Spanish disease and Spanish cruelty took a large but mostly uncalculated toll. Few details record, few detailed records of what happened during that time exist, but a wealth of research in other locales has shown the early decades following Western contact to be almost invariably the worst for the Nagas, man, or native people. Because that is when the fires of epidemic, disease, violence, disease, let's go, burnt most freely. The fires of disease, man. Now they're trying to get us with the same thing on the tenderoni, but they're flipping it. Like, oops, we don't know what happened. Wuhan, China. <laughs> now everyone needs this magic shot. Disease. That's the okie doke, man. Y'all think, y'all claim to be smart, but you falling for the okie doke. I, I need to get on a plane. I need to get, I need to keep my jobs. Nothing I can do. I gotta get, 
I got to get it. I got to gotta do that. I got to. No step and fetching, man. Don't be no step and fetching ass naga. Come on, man. This is real spill. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, the bro, your Hanukkah Hebrew prince is breaking down, man. We taking L's in our community, man. This ain't no play play. We taking L's in our community. Being hit with a magic shot right in our face, man. It's happening right in our face, man. There's a reason why he's popping off. There's a reason why we should all pop off. You say, what can we do? My noggin. We need to spread this flow, this vibe, this code by example. You know what I'm saying? And I truly believe that if all it takes is a few code keeper noggins to change the entire frequency, you know what I'm saying, to where all these things will come out to light and be, you know, handled appropriately. You know, maybe beyond the measure of your understanding now, understanding now, maybe beyond what, what, what we can comprehend or perceive right now, but the code will handle itself. Hawaii will handle Hawaii, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it is a weapon. The code is a weapon, just like the Shabbat's a weapon. So don't underestimate the code. That's, 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 that's all we need to do. Because in code, you're going to have the charge up. You're going to have wisdom to say what you got to say and do what you got to do. And only you know what, what that is. For you and your family, only you know what that is. We never say, go here, go here, go here. You got to go to our land here, go here. Uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? We just want to, you know, set up a few places of refuge, a few, you know what I'm saying? You know, real, real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Choose up villages, man. <laughs> And shout out to my Aqua Joy, man. Look out for Joy World, man. <laughs> You're going to hear more about it, man. It's just something that was so immaculate in the time, man, of how the sister, you know, just came through for the tribe. And uh, just lets us know that it's it's time to, make, time to make these major, you know what I'm saying, moves that we've been, you know, pondering and digging on for a minute. So, hey, look out for Joy World, man. Allahu Akbar. It's all happening. It's all happening for the dismount. Let's get it. Numberless people, my naga. That's what they found here. But not for very long. Because they took their toll. Uncalculated toll. With what? Disease and cruelty. Disease and violence. Spanish disease and Spanish cruelty. Hijack disease. Because don't just blame it on the Spaniards. But what does a Spaniard look like? <laughs> what, did, what did King Charles uh, Quinto look like? Man, it's the American Holocaust. And you cannot talk American Holocaust without talking more and more. And you cannot talk Chickamauga without talking treaties of pieces and French. On the head bone of Tecumseh. On the head bone of Dragon Canoe. Tecumseh died to tribe up these knives. And only a few would fight with him. He tried to get the Choctaw to fight with him. Their chief didn't want to. He made treaties of pieces of French. And ended up rolling out against the Chickamauga in the next year with Andrew Jackson. The Choctaw rolled up against the Seminole. Against the Chickamauga. Against the Lower Muscogee. All facts. So we claim our heritage today, but make sure we make a atonement, my noggin. For our families, you know, whatever they were doing wrong, outside the code, slaying our own brothers over treaties and pieces of friendships. We were numberless people. Then they came with their fire of epidemic disease. 
whatever the population of California was before the Spanish came, however, and whatever happened during the first few centuries following Spanish entry into the region by 1885, or excuse me, 1845. Um, when's the Coombe say War? 1812, 1811, Tacombe Comet. Treaties of Peace and Friendship, they take down Tacombe Say. Now you got 1845, the Chickamauga is still fighting. <laughs> By 1845, the Indian population of California had been slashed to 150. Right, Chickamauga, Chickamauga, Chickamauga. Down from many times that number prior to European contact by swarming epidemics of influenza, diphtheria, measles, pneumonia, whooping cough, smallpox, malaria, typhoid, cholera, tuberculosis, dysentery, syphilis, and gonorrhea, and what, tenderoni? Tenderoni today? They don't talk about influenza no more. It's just tenderoni, right? That's their new thing. Repackaged, same play, violence, disease, along with everyday settler and explorer violence, disease. At late, as late as 1833, a malaria epidemic brought in by some Hudson Bay Company. Who who sent the Hudson Bay Company? Who who put the patents out with the Hudson Bay Company? Oh, that was King James. King James and them, right? Charles and them, right? Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Hudson Bay Company trappers killed 20,000 Nagas by themselves. 20,000 Nagas. Killed. Murdered. Wiping out entire parts of the great Central Valleys. A decade later, writes one historian, there still remain macabre reminders of the malaria epidemic collapsed houses filled with skulls and bones. The ground litter with skeleton remains. Skeleton remains. This is the Marcon Holocaust.